Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. This house is a lime tree way and oh my god I love it so much. I genuinely love it so much and I know I say that about every single one of my houses but this one I really like it. I love the colour of it. Obviously it's called lime tree way so you can kind of imagine there is a lime kind of a colour which maybe it's not really a lime colour but it's it's green and in my head the first thing I thought of was lime. So yeah, there you go. It's now called Lime Tree Way. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. It is a very big home. I don't really know. Like, I don't think I got inspiration from anywhere. I think I kind of was just in the mood to build like an L-shaped home. Even though it's not really an L-shape, it's more of like a an N, I guess. I don't really know. It's not an L-shape anyway. And it obviously has a garage on... Wait, maybe it doesn't. Oh, maybe it doesn't have a garage at all, actually. I thought it had a garage, but I guess not. But it's got, like, the front of the house has... I don't know what you call it, but I always think of them as being, like, kind of farmhouse-style homes where the there's, like, you know, the kind of half gable roof on the side and then there's the gable on top. I love that. I seriously am obsessed with it. I use it way too much in my homes, but, I mean, for good reason. I love it so much and I think it really suits it. And I use it multiple times as well throughout this. But I'm very, very happy with it. I did struggle with roofing, as you can see now. Um, I don't remember much about this house. I don't even remember building it. So me watching this now is kind of new to me, I guess. Like, I, I don't really remember a whole lot, except the colour. I remember the colour and it's very, very nice. But this video is 40 minutes long. 43 minutes. And I don't know why. I think it's like I'm now paying more attention to detail and decorating my homes making them fuller and you know what I mean like full of stuff let me pull up the screenshots because I don't remember this at all and I you know what I mean I want to know what's gonna come up when I'm showing you so let me pull up the pictures but anyway I, as I said it's a very big home I built it a little while ago so I don't remember a whole lot of it but let me see how many bedrooms there is there's one two two bedrooms downstairs and then one two three three upstairs I think it is but you will see as we go along anyway but there is another room that I made into an office so you could definitely turn that into another bedroom if you really wanted to or change some of the bedrooms into like a gym or something like that there is plenty of space for things like that so you will you know not be stuck for space anyway but it's very very nice I'm very happy with it and you know there is custom content used I have I think I've compiled a CC list or like um when you download the house you will get the CC with it because for it might have been Acorn Avenue I don't really know but my most recent speed build anyway I can't quite remember the name of it but on that house I gathered the custom content or as much of it as I could and I merged it all into one file as well as the house so that you can download that put it into your game and then you so when you download it you will get a regular house file which we will put into your library folder and then you will get the kind of one which says like oh lime tree way plus cc which is the house plus custom content so you put that into your package files does it work maybe i don't know people put it into their package files people say that you know oh put this lot into your package files or not into package files into your library file so i would say do that and the only reason there's one in the packages as well is just to kind of you know be safe and make sure that you uh have it in your game but if you have any issues please tell me and i can try and figure it out i'm not familiar with downloading houses so i don't really know kind of what works best i'm kind of going based off what other people do and you know what i mean people do it in their library folder and stuff like that so I'm kind of doing it based off of that because I actually don't know myself. So um, yeah, there's that anyway. But uh, yeah, look, you can see the home. I am so happy with it. It like, I don't know. I just love the color of it. I just think it's really, really nice. I have been building in Bloxburg. If you don't know what Bloxburg is, it is Roblox. Like it's a Roblox game. It kind of reminds me of Sims a little bit. And you can obviously play it and look after your needs and work and stuff like that. But what I've been doing is building now it's very different to sims like as in just you know what i mean it's not as kind of building focused i guess because it's just like a small little game that somebody has made in roblox i guess but oh my god i like genuinely love it so much i built a home and i just am obsessed i genuinely i cannot stop building it i don't really play it as much it's more just building in it i really wanted to see the difference between kind of the sims and Bloxburg. oh my god i love it so much it is so good and there's some things that i prefer with Bloxburg, but then there's others that i prefer with sims and it's just you know what i mean it's the way it is 
Um, but yeah, very happy with it. I d I'm never going to share it anywhere. It's more just to kind of test it out and see how it is, I guess. But I very, v I'm very much happy with it. Also, I use Reshade. I don't know if I've ever spoken about that, but I recently started using Reshade, mainly for screenshots. As you can see, the, you know, video looks normal. There's no Reshade on it just because it kind of lags my game a little bit. So I only use it for screenshots. Oh my God. So what I do is I position my camera, you know, front of the house, ready to take a screenshot of the house, turn on Reshade. My PC literally gets so loud, crazy how loud it gets when I turn it on. Then it takes screenshot, turn it off, go inside, position the camera in the kitchen, for example. Turn reshade on, so loud. It cannot be good for my computer to be turning on and off reshade like that because it gets loud and it gets quiet and it gets loud and it gets quiet. It cannot be good for my computer. However, you know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do. Like if I have to take screenshots, I have to take screenshots. But if my PC blows up or something one day, you will know that it's because of reshade and yeah that's great also this i don't know if you're kind of at the same point i am right now if it's like out of sync or anything that part you know under the when you place like a wall that's kind of hanging over and there's a little trim at the bottom of the wall you could see it at the back of the house above the like kind of foundation above the kind of deck i guess but what why is that like that because i don't remember ever seeing that before but I recolored it to match the walling like a bit more or like the fencing. It's kind of more of like the wooden sort of a color. I've never noticed that before. And I don't know if it's the flooring, if it's just the way the walls are, but it's so annoying because the whatever color you make it, it's almost like a weird desaturated, very light version of it. And it doesn't kind of color correctly. I don't really know what it is though, but it's kind of weird. But whatever. Anyway. I, you know what I mean? I've never noticed it before, but whatever. I am going to France on Monday. I am very excited. By the time you're seeing this, I will be in France and I will be almost on my way home. As in, I'll have a couple of days left. But, oh my God, I thought I was prepared, as in with videos and stuff. Turns out I was not. I was like, it's fine. Like I've got, you know, this house finished, a couple of renovations, get them finished. Perfect. We're sorted. And then I realized that I didn't have a video for tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is, you know, so I had Acorn Avenue out Wednesday and then I have a video, which, you know, I need to be having a video out for Saturday just because I'm kind of doing that kind of Monday, Wednesday, Saturday schedule. Well, it turns out I don't have a video for it. I have got a renovation, which I'll, you know, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to talk about it in that video. Obviously, it's not a spoiler considering the fact that it'll be out by the time you're seeing this. But anyway, I have a, a renovation. But the thing is, that'll be out Wednesday. Wednesday, as in before this video will be out. So like, you know, I don't have a video ready and I don't know if I will. I'm kind of not really in a building mood or renovating mood, so we'll see how it goes. Obviously, it's only Friday for me, so I do still have like a couple more days to get stuff done. But then I'm thinking, even if I don't, there's no point stressing about it. I'm going to France for a week. I can, you know what I mean? Do you know why I'm saying like I'm kind of not in the mood for building? It'll be a good time to just not even think about it. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to be building in France. Like, I'm not going to be building, bringing my computer to France to start doing some speed builds. So it's a really good time to kind of just, you know, not think about it, not worry about it and be like, oh my God, I don't have a video done. Who cares? Oh my God, I need to do more building. I haven't done so many ages. Who cares? It doesn't even matter. Do I have a video out for when I get back from France? Nope. So that means when I get back, I will need to kind of get back to building. But I'm sure I will because I will not have done it in a very long time. So I'll kind of be wanting to do it more, I guess. So, you know, we'll see how it goes anyway. I'm not going to stress myself out about it. I'm going to enjoy it. Enjoy my time away. I'm actually really nervous. I've, like, I've flown quite a few times. I'm not, like, a nervous flyer. But I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know. Like, obviously, again, when I'm, when you're seeing this, I'll be there. But, like, I'm, I'm just nervous. I don't know. And I'm very, looking, I'm very much looking forward to it. I just, I haven't been away well, I haven't been away since last year, but I'm still very excited and you know what I mean? It's just nice to do something different and get out of the house and yeah, I'm I'm very much looking forward to it, but I'm hoping it's really hot and sunny every single day and uh, yeah, because right now it is raining and it has been raining non-stop for ages. Not super heavy, but you know, it's still raining, 
which is not great and it's not ideal, but how wonderful is that? But uh, yeah, that's just great. I'm trying to think, is there anything else with this house to talk about? There is, okay, there is a really cool part. So the kitchen is on your left here, you know, the hallway. So when you walk from the hallway through that archway, you're going into the dining room. And in the dining room, there's a really cool, there's like bookshelf wall, there's a shelf above the archway into the kitchen, and there's like hanging plants, and it's really cool. And then in the middle of it, there's like a fish tank very random and I don't even know why I thought to do it I think I just was kind of struggling for space and just didn't have space to you know put anything here so I was like perfect let me get a fish fish tank like it's perfect you know what I mean it's just it's <laughs> it's great so that is what I did anyway and honestly it's not even bad like it kind of fits in I didn't really have a vibe for the house I kind of just did whatever I thought looked kind of cool but I think I need to start doing that is like having sort of a, a vibe I guess but I don't know I'll see. Also, um, I've never mentioned it in a voiceover because I've not done a voiceover in a very long time, but very cool summer project, summer collab, I guess, with everyone. I want to talk about it because I haven't spoken about it yet in a video. I was going to make a specific video just for it, but I just haven't gotten around to it and I don't think I'll get a chance to before I, like, you know, go on holidays, but I want to talk about it in this voiceover. So if you're interested, and when I say if you are interested, I mean anybody. Anybody can be a part of this if they wish. It is just a basically a fun collab to get everybody involved and the whole idea of it is that we will renovate Sunset Valley, every single lot of it, if we can, obviously, but we will renovate as much of it as possible and then at the very end of August, which is kind of, to me, the end of summer, we will tour it and everything. You can do households or lots, whichever you prefer. Obviously, I know not everyone's a builder, not everyone creates sims and stuff like that, but take whoever you want, do whatever you want. And if you, you know what I mean, you know someone who loves The Sims and, you know, tell them, get them involved. It doesn't matter who is a part of it. We will be so happy with anybody a part of it. You know what I mean? Get involved. It'll, it's just a fun way to bring communities together. And there is a Discord server, which I will link down below. And all information is there and you can, you know, read about it or see what other people have done and be like yeah I'd love to do this but there's like a list of lots and you can see what's been taken what hasn't been taken and then if things have been taken um find something else there's so much to do there's obviously all of Sunset Valley so if you're like oh my god I would love to renovate the goth household but I've never had any reason to do so now is your chance we would love for you to be a part of it but like I said discord channel will be linked below with kind of everything about how to you know, join it, how to submit your stuff and everything like that. So make sure you, you know, become a part of it if you want. You obviously have all summer to do so, even if it's the last week of August and you're like, oh, I don't know if it's too late to be a part of this. It doesn't matter. Be a part of it. And, you know, once it's submitted by the actual end of August, which will have like a date chosen at some point, the only thing is I will be back to school at that point. So we'll need to kind of pick a date where I'm kind of free. But once you have it submitted by the end of August, then you're fine. It doesn't matter when you do it, when you submit it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a really cool idea. We came up with it on a stream of mine a while ago. Like, a you know, a couple of us did it. And it's just such a fun idea. And honestly, I'm so excited. But it's um, me, Nessie Penguin, and Severa. And yeah. It's wonderful. It's just such a fun idea and I will be doing a reno- Oh, I hit my desk. I'll be doing a renovation myself. So I'm really hoping that, you know, we can get as many people as we can to join it. I, d I just think it's a really fun idea. It's really cool. And I would definitely, if somebody else did it, I would love to be a part of it myself. So definitely if you want to, whether you play The Sims or not, whether you watch people make videos, whatever, we don't care. We don't care what you do, but you know what I mean? We want you to know that anybody can join it and anybody, um, can, you know, be a part of it, I guess. That's kind of the main thing and that's kind of, I think, a really cool thing as well is that anybody can be a part of it. So yeah, there you go. Information description. I'll stop talking about it because I've said the same thing about 10 times already. But anyway, look at the house. Look at the colours. I am obsessed. Now I'm doing the garden now and I put shutters on the house and everything and it just really brings it all together and oh my god, I like, I am actually just obsessed with it. Um, and yeah, I did little flower beds as well in front of the windows. Again, I love it so much. I think it's really, really cool and I'm very happy. Also, I wanted to talk about renovating Sunset Valley. I probably should talk about it in 
the renovation video, which I'm going to do after this, you know, the voiceover for it, but who cares? I could talk about it again then if I want to. But I was going to do a poll for which like worlds you want to see next after Sunset Valley has been done. Well, I have decided that I'm going to do Moonlight Falls. I've just been thinking like majority of it will be done during kind of autumn, I'd say, if we get Sunset Valley done kind of soon, I guess. It'll be done during autumn, which like that's so fitting for Moonlight Falls and I think that's really, really cool. So that's the idea is I'm going to do that and also just the style of homes in Moonlight Falls are incredible. They're kind of these like almost, are they Victorian? Can you say Victorian? I'm saying Victorian. They're like Victorian style homes and genuinely I am obsessed with them and I think they will be so much fun to like renovate, give them a makeover, especially since like I kind of think the way the colors are, like it's not a super bright world. So I think it's very fitting for my personal style of furnishing and stuff because I did also get a comment. I'm sure I mentioned it before, but they were saying how my homes look lifeless or something and there's like no color in them. And I was like, are you kidding me? That is so rude. But like, yes, I get it. They're much more lifeless. But at the same time, you know, it's my building style. It's how I like to build. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, maybe they're lifeless. Who cares? Um, I don't care. I build them however I wish. And you know what I mean? Obviously, the outside of my homes are very colourful. But the insides are not at all colourful. But I don't mind that. I really don't. And I think it's kind of fun. And it's, you know... I, I don't know. It makes me happy and I, I like it. So I'm like, well, why change it? Why stop doing it a certain way? Because somebody said my homes are lifeless. Exactly. I'm not going to. Anyway, here's, as you can see, the shutters. Oh my God. I love them so much. I am so happy with them. And I think they're really, really cool. But um, yeah, I, I'm obsessed with the front of the house. I think it's so cool. I had been building a bunch of homes. I'm in the middle of a home which I'm not a fan of. I think it's a bit boring. And then I built another two homes. Again, not a fan of them, bit boring. And also, even if I wanted to go back to them now, I don't have the same custom content I had when I built them, meaning that taking screenshots, I need to like change up stuff because otherwise the, the you know, there'd be objects replaced and stuff like that, which will look a bit weird. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about them. I think I might just crap them leave them, forget about it, who cares, but it's kind of annoying because obviously I'd spent time building them and that's like three homes in the past, like what, like two weeks maybe I built that I just didn't really like, but then again, it's like, you know, I understand that I don't like them and I'm doing something about that. I'm, you know, not posting them just to get something done. I'm not posting them because I don't like them and I think that's fair and I think there's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, it's kind of good though, but um, maybe I'll show screenshots or something if you're interested in that but uh, as for the homes I don't think they're seeing the light of day I had like ideas for them and for how I wanted them to look and I started building them and they just I don't think they really turned out how I had originally planned for them to and I think from there I just didn't stop and I kept furnishing kept decorating and you know what I mean it didn't really fix the fact that I originally wasn't a fan of them so I don't know I'll need to see about that and see what happens but yeah also, I was talking about having my CC shared. So what I've done, in case anybody else was wondering how I've done it, how I've organized my CC or anything like that. No, I use CC magic. Everything is there. But what I've also done is I've also made like a duplicate folder on my desktop, which is like categorized by build by, clothes, hair, makeup, mods, and then I've got one for like my houses and everything like that. So I'm going to explain it, how I've done it, because you know what I mean? There may be builders watching this who want to share their CC. This is how I personally am doing it. Please, if it's wrong or as well, another thing I wanted to say is obviously I'm not claiming CC as my own. Um, I'm sharing it, but I'm not really, I'm kind of sharing it all in one go. I'm not really kind of sharing an individual piece of custom content. And um, I obviously want to say that it's not my CC. I'm not claiming credit for it. I'm not, you know, saying it's mine or anything like that, just in case um, anybody's wondering or, you know what I mean? I don't really know. Like, I know obviously I can't like re-upload an individual piece to Mediafire. It's probably better if I link it. However, um, I I don't think it's against terms of, you know, 
use to be doing this which obviously me even thinking is it against terms of use is probably not great and it probably means it is against you know the creator's terms of use I can like do my research and everything like that and even if I just ask for permission that's probably a good thing but what I've done is I've obviously merged it all together and uploading it I'm uploading it with the house but it's not me again I'm not taking credit for it I'm simply just sharing my houses with the CC um but if you want to know where particular pieces are from I could tell you that that's not a problem but I just want to make that clear that I'm not claiming anything as my own just in case anybody is wondering um that's you know I'm obviously not doing that but what was I saying how I share it so on my desktop I have files so I have a big folder the sims 3 cc and in that I have the subfolders which I named then I have all my cc which I just dumped it into that folder and I started categorizing it by what it was wrote like not you know they're very vague categories they're not super specific I don't kind of you know with the like buy for example there's not like decor appliances plumbing none of that don't care about that too much effort for me on cc magic I have done that um it's you know they're more in detail they're more in depth I guess but it's just because I don't need to be kind of you know filing through that to find the cc what I do is because it's all in the categories what I do is say this house for example when it's built I go through it and I'm like okay those aprons are cc so I go to my buy category because I know it's not gonna be my build category because they're aprons and they are found in the buy category in game go through the buy category find the aprons that I need by you know matching them to the name that they have in sims and then I add it to a folder which is called like lime tree way and it will have a house file and will have two house files one of them I've named library the other one I've named package and then all my cc throughout the house including like everything windows doors like patterns I can't do because I don't know how to find patterns I'm not really great with that so I will try and find it considering most of them are, are from the sims resource it won't be too hard because it'll be you know they're kind of all in the one place anyway have it all in the one file with the houses then with S3PE, which is the Sims 3 package editor, something like that, open that. No, that's not it. Maybe that is it. Yeah, yeah, it is that. It is that. So that is basically to merge CC. So, you know, you might want to look at tutorials for that, but I just used the one to merge CC together. And I merged it all together, including the house labeled package. Then it will ask you to name it. I just, la I just name it Lime Tree Way plus CC. And then I put package in brackets so you know to put it in your package file. Then what I do is I use WinRAR. That is my kind of, you know, merging thing, whatever. Package extracting, whatever. And I basically put the two of those into like a, a zip file so that I could upload it in one go. You download that, extract the zip file, you will have library and a package file thing. And then you put them in the, you know, respective folders, I guess. So I don't know. Is it complicated? I don't think it's too complicated. I think it's, you know what I mean? It's kind of simple enough when you're doing it. But if there's a better way of sharing your CC, please tell me. But that is what I do. And if anybody wants to, you know, do that too, there you go. That's how I personally do it. Because for so long, I didn't know how to share my CC. I didn't know how to kind of have it included with the house. But then I found merging it with the house is so much better. So give that a go and try and do that yourself and obviously if you do not want the cc in your game and you're downloading this house do not take the package don't like delete the package and only keep the library and put the library file in your library folder i think if i'm wrong please tell me if that is not how you install houses please tell me like i said i just i'm not familiar with them and i don't do it often just to, you know what i mean i don't download houses i don't really have any need to because, you know, I'm obviously so great at building, I don't need to download houses. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I just don't play the game that often. And if I ever am playing the game, I kind of normally build my own houses. But there's that anyway. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else to do with Sims? Yes! Oh my god. Okay, well, we have more to talk about. Create a world. Oh my god. It is the most stressful thing in the entire world. Basically, I had an idea for, like, a world that I wanted to do. So open up, you know, I already had it installed. Perfect. Didn't need to deal with all the kind of, you know, you know, installing it, I guess, whatever. Because I know it's very temperamental and it's old and I don't know, it's very annoying. But I open it and everything like normal and I had no issues. Started building a world. Perfect. Love it. Went to go edit in game. 
did not work. It just, you know, loaded me on the, on the main menu. I was like, okay, that's weird. So I googled it and apparently it is no longer compatible with the EA app or it just is not in general. No longer. It never was. But that's annoying. So people were giving kind of tips and they were like, hey, you know, get an older version of Origin or use Steam and stuff like that. I'm not doing that. I, I just couldn't be bothered. I'm like, all this just to, you know, play with the world. I'm not doing that. Just to, you know, make my own one. So it's fine. Gave up on that. And I was like, you know what? What I could do instead is just export the world and put it into my game that way. So I did that, put it into my game, had the like dot world file and I put it into the correct folder. I had to literally watch tutorials how to do that. Go into the game. <gasps> Perfect. The world is there. Let's click on it. Click pay or click play. And it said that there was like a serious error and you need to restart your game. Um, that was very interesting. I don't know why it did that. I still don't know why it's doing that. Um, because there's nothing in the world. You know what I mean? It's empty. The only things in the world are like empty lots and like terrain paint and stuff like that. So if anybody has any like idea of why it's doing that, please tell me. I've been going through like EA forums or whatever and they're all like, oh, maybe you have your game file open or the game folder open. I didn't. That was not an issue. Everything, like I have tried everything and nothing works. All I want to do is test it out and just see what the world is like and I want to build on it. And I cannot do that because I cannot get it into my game. It's showing up, but I cannot play it at all. Also, look at this. Isn't that so cool? That's the little like fish tank, bookshelves, hanging plant thing. I think it is the coolest thing and the best use of like space ever. Because I was originally going to put like chairs there and I was like, how boring. Like not boring, but you know, it's just not what I want to do. But um, yeah, I think it's really good. And I think it's just a really good use of the space. So um, I hope you enjoy that. And I hope your Sims start collecting fish now and you don't go and delete that. Okay. Because I, you know, I didn't spend long and hard on it. I didn't spend that much time on it at all, but it, I just think it's such a cool idea. So I'd love it if you, you know, collected some fish, throw them in there. And I think that'd be so cool. But anyway, um, with Creator World, yeah, I just have given up on it. I know there's more things that I could probably try and, you know, research and stuff like that, but I don't care. I'm not doing that. But if you have any ideas, if you've had the same issue or whatever, please let me know because it is an absolute nightmare, especially since I just spent that time building the world. But then I was, okay, the vibes of the world were like Moonlight Falls, basically, but kind of my own way, not supernatural, that sort of a thing. Um, well, yeah, it turns out that's obviously not going to work anymore. So, like I said, if anybody has any ideas, please tell me. I really want to build this world. I'm loving it so much so far and I, you know, I want to continue it, but I can't. So, I'd love some help with that. That'd be great. Um, what else has been going on in Sims? I am continuing my Lepsy challenge. I'm kind of back into it now and I've recorded a bunch of parts. We are now on Gen 2. I definitely did cheat a little bit. And I started Gen 2 a little bit earlier than I should have. I don't care. I really don't care. Obviously, you know, if you've seen it, every single part, I talk about how annoying Natalie is with her skills. If you don't know Natalie, she is like the founder sim. And to continue and to get onto the next generation, you need to either like max your skills or like max your career. So as when I say max your skills, I should be saying complete your lifetime wish. For her lifetime wish, you need to master the logic and athletic skill. Oh my god, it is an absolute nightmare. And the thing is, even if I wanted to complete her career, that is still like a long way away. And we're not even nearly at that point yet. So I've given up with both and I don't know what I'm going to do. Like I've, I've started the next generation, like it's too late to even think about it. And obviously I'll, you know, work on her skills as we go along. But I've started a little bit early because I don't care. And I've also started a Lepsy challenge, Legacy. Oh my god, okay. I keep doing this. I keep saying Lepsy instead of Legacy and Legacy instead of Lepsy. I'm really sorry, but I have started a Legacy challenge over on Twitch. So it's only Twitch and it'll be, you know, I'll do it whenever I stream and stuff like that. Just because I've been doing a lot of building and renovations and stuff like that. That like, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I thought, why not do a challenge? And I think it'll be a lot of fun. It's different to the leprosy in the way that you're not kind of 
you know, not able to play with every pack. Like I can play with every pack right now and CC and everything. I think the whole, okay, maybe I'm wrong, but I think the whole premise of it is just to keep going, keep having generations and it stops in your gen 10. So I don't know, is there challenges? Maybe there is. I'm sure I've read them. I'm sure I've read about the challenges too. Um, maybe it's like max your lifetime wish and stuff like that. I don't really know. But anyway, um, that's kind of exciting. So if you want to check that out, there is part one out. However, it is muted. So don't even bother checking it out. Like you're, you know what I mean? There's nothing there. But the only reason it's muted is because I have my recordings. So obviously I'm recording like gameplay. When I'm recording gameplay, it is a nightmare to you know, make sure that my audio and my game, my like my mic audio and my game are kind of at a good point where you can hear both well. So I find out a way to do like split, like split the tracks, I guess. So that instead of having one recording, one audio recording, which has both of the, you know, my mic audio and game audio in one, it is now separate. So I can adjust them um accordingly, you know, as much as I need to uh, in my editing software, which is so cool. And the thing is, um, with Twitch is, I like my, okay, I'm trying to explain this. I don't know how to explain it. So a Twitch VOD is track two. In OBS, a Twitch VOD goes to track two. So I have it set up where music that I play doesn't go there. My game audio does appear on track two and my mic audio does. However, when I was recording, I had it split so that my mic audio would not go to track two and would only go to track one and then my game audio wouldn't go to track one and would only go to track two. I didn't think that would affect recordings however I've now figured it out and I've got like track one and three instead of track one and two so I'm not affecting Twitch in any way I'm only affecting recordings um and I think that's so much better so yeah also this OMSP not working not working at all um and it appears in screenshots but it's fine I will sort that out for you but that is very annoying just so you're aware I tried to like raise them up and everything and it did not work at all so um yeah that's wonderful it's very annoying though because I was like why is this not working why is it not working I think I downloaded a house like I think I actually did download a house and it had OMSP in it like the you know that one more slot please thing and it like you know didn't work and it doesn't kind of you know it thinks of it as just being like an object rather than being like an actual I guess like a mod or something or as being something that works so that's very annoying but um yeah that's great also I have been watching Grey's Anatomy oh my goodness like seriously like okay I've seen like maybe a season or two before but like I used to like skip through it because you know TikTok and stuff my patience and my like what do you call it you're like I don't know patience I don't know basically I could not sit and watch something like I got so bored and it was genuinely I was about to say my lifespan my lifespan was so bad no 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 my like patience and everything was just really really bad and I started watching it again because I was like okay you know what I mean I didn't mind it beforehand I just you know got bored and skipped through the whole thing so I never really knew what was happening well now I'm at the end of season two and every episode I'm shocked like every single episode I'm like oh my god like that's crazy am I gonna watch all 20 seasons I highly doubt that but um I am still enjoying it though I'm really really enjoying it and you know it's really entertaining like genuinely I'm you know what I mean and I've been telling my family and they're like oh my god of course you're watching Grey's Anatomy like is it actually even that good and I was like oh my god it like actually is like surprisingly it is like really good and like obviously you know every character is incredibly annoying at times and when I say at times I mean like almost all the time Bailey is my favorite character absolutely my favorite character but um you know I don't know. It's just, it's really, really good. No spoilers. Please, no spoilers. I will not be giving any spoilers either. But just know that, you know, if you give it the time, you will be shocked. Obviously, if, you know, if you find the characters annoying, it's probably not going to get much better than that. You're probably not going to start liking the characters. You're probably always going to hate them. So just keep that in mind that if you dislike them at the beginning, best of luck because you, they're kind of hard to... <laughs> hard to listen to sometimes but you know it is it's fine it it passes time and I do actually enjoy it quite often so you know I'm obsessed with it at the minute I'm like obsessed like genuinely I cannot stop watching it but 
I stayed up one night until like 5 a.m. watching it. Okay, I'm gonna spoil an episode right now. Spoil it. Spoilers for an episode. I think it's season two, episode 17. Spoilers. Um, basically when there was a bomb in this guy's chest and Meredith had to like put her hand, well, she replaced the paramedic by putting her hand in it and like, oh, whatever. That whole episode, it basically went over two episodes, so maybe it's 16 as well. But, oh my god, I stayed up watching that one one night and like, I knew what happened. I knew the whole episode, but still I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. How did this happen? You know, but, oh my god, I stayed up until 5am watching Grey's. Like, it's crazy. I'm genuinely obsessed with it at the moment. But my plan is to finish the whole thing by the end of summer, which is very ambitious considering there's 20 seasons, but I'm enjoying it so far. I really am. And, well, thing is though, are they making more seasons as it goes? I don't know. Maybe they are. Are they they still like actively making stuff? I'm not sure, but I kind of hope not so that I can eventually catch up and be done. But I know characters leave, new characters join, um, and I normally would Google and be like, when does this character come into the show? Just to kind of, you know, get me a goal, I guess. Get to this episode, see this character join, and then you can do whatever you want. But I cannot. Because otherwise, if I know that a certain character is joining in three episodes, I will skip, 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 skip every episode up until then just because I want to see this character join or you know what I mean something like that so I don't know anything I genuinely don't know anything and I don't want to know anything I want to just enjoy it and be shocked by things that happen so I think that's pretty good but it's kind of cool seeing all the celebrities in it like there was Christina Ritchie uh Jeffrey Dean Morgan and many more like there's so many celebrities in it which I think is really cool and you know I'm interested to kind of keep watching it and see what happens which is very very cool but here's the office anyway it's very cool I haven't really spoken about the house a whole lot but here is the office I'm very very happy with it also speaking of CC a while ago I am working on my tumblr CC vines link below it's all being done basically there's like a new theme and everything I got and um there's like an about me section so you can you know get to know me I guess even though everything isn't that special but that's kind of cool and then there's also the navigation tab which I'm working on it okay it's very bare at the minute and like there's not a whole lot in it my cat is crying at my window if you can hear him I am so sorry but he just jumped up to my window and he's staring at me so that's great but I'm working on it I'm working on each category for like mods create a sim build and buy so you can download everything that I have I will try my best to like link everything and then you can kind of download it so that if you know a cc creator is like hey I don't like you sharing my cc with the house whatever I don't like you doing that not a problem please if you're watching this tell me and I will not do it that is okay Um, and I, like I said, I don't mean to be going against any creator's terms of use and stuff like that. I'm not sharing it, claiming it as my own. I'm simply sharing it with the house, but I completely understand, uh, somebody not wanting me to share it like that. I completely get it. So please reach out to me. I don't want to, you know, do something that you're not happy with. So, um, yeah, please let me know. Or if, even if you're not like a creator and you're thinking, yeah, like she shouldn't be doing that, please tell me and I will change it up, that's not a problem, um, but we're, you know, that's what I'm doing for now, and, um, yeah, that's the way it is for now, but again, tell me, and I will change it, that's not a problem, it's fine, um, what else has been going on? I feel like genuinely there's been nothing exciting, the weather's been bad, I've been playing Sims, and that is genuinely it, like, things couldn't be more boring, however, I'm just relaxing. I'm, you know what I mean, taking each day as it comes. I'm not stressing out about anything. I'm just kind of, you know, taking it easy. And I think it's really important to do. And, you know, I don't want to burn myself out of it. I was thinking, like, sometimes there are days, obviously, I have my days, but sometimes I find that I'm just not interested in anything. Or, like, I'm like, oh, I really want to, you know, do something. But, like, I can't. Like, I start playing Sims. Bored. Turn it off. I start, like, listening to music. Bored. Stop the music. And things like that. Like, genuinely, I try so many different things. And I'm like, it's not... I don't want to do it. I just want to, you know, do something. I'm just... I want to, you know, move. And 
I can't because there's nothing I want to do. Everything is just boring me. So I don't really know what's going on. But like, I don't know. I feel like that quite a lot recently that like, maybe I'm bored, maybe, I don't know. But I just find that nothing is kind of, (laughs) nothing is bringing me joy. That's not what I'm saying. But like, I just feel like with Sims, I'm getting a bit burnt out with it. Um, But again, a week in France, a week away from my computer, not thinking about it is probably what I need. And thankfully, it's coming up. And thankfully, I have got videos prepared. There most likely will not be a video on Wednesday, which again, you'll know it when you see it. You'll know if there is one or not but there most likely will not be one then. Um, But there's still a leprosy part. There is still this video. So I apologize about that. But I just really want to get more videos out. And I think it's really good. Oh my God. Thank you for 2000 subscribers. I never, ever said that. I thanked, you know, I said on Twitter and I said thank you. And then on YouTube community. So you may have seen that, but oh my God. Like it's crazy. It's genuinely crazy. And I just want to say a massive thank you for that. It is insane to see that and see like 2,000 on my channel. That is crazy. That had been my goal for so long. And I remember, what was it? Like maybe 350 or something? Or I had a goal of like 300 at the end of the year. Like in 2022, I think it was. And I was like, I really hope I get 300 at the end of the year. Or maybe that was in 2023. And in 2023, we had a thousand in June. Like, that blows my mind. That is genuinely insane to me. The fact we're on 2000 now, we've doubled it. And, you know, it's only up from here, which is crazy. And I, you know, it means so much to me, to everyone who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, so you never miss a video, of course. But, you know, it makes me so happy and I really do appreciate it. And, you know, just knowing that people like my videos or watch them at least enough to subscribe to me means the absolute world to me and I don't know why I'm so sorry I didn't say it sooner but just know that I do really appreciate it and I see it and I obviously said thank you on Twitter and everything so I did acknowledge it but I completely slipped my mind and I'm so sorry but thank you very much Um, I massively appreciate it and you guys are so wonderful and oh my god genuinely amazing but anyway screenshots are coming up and we're getting towards the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed me rambling on for about 40 minutes, over 40 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, I guess I will see you in maybe my next voiceover actually because I do need to do another one for tomorrow but I was like this is my top priority. I have to get this one done first so I'm doing this and then I'll move on to my next one anyway but it's not going to be too long like it's a shorter video anyway. Certainly not 40 minutes but enjoy the screenshots. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And like I said, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe because it means the world to me. If you want to download this house, the link is below on Mediafire. Follow my socials like Twitter, Twitch, Discord, Instagram. I think that's it. I think that's all my socials. But uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day and goodbye.